Hey guys, Happy New Year, and today I am going to go over my New Year's resolutions. I hope you guys all had a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. I know mine was crazy, hence the fact of me not posting as much because in the holiday season, we are just nuts. We're nuts and we have tons of stuff to do. I have family about an hour and a half away. I have family down in Florida. It's just crazy. So needless to say, I'm, I love the holiday season, don't get me wrong, but it's always so much. And with that point, I also worked on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So it's just been one crazy, crazy heck of a day and heck of a holiday season. But I'm happy it's over and I'm so excited to get the new year started. And I really wanted to post my New Year's resolutions just in case they would help you at all, if that makes any sense. And also so that I can go back at the end of the year and look at this video and say, okay, so check that off my list, check that off my list. I didn't do so hot on that area. Or, you know, go back and be like, you know, this goal has changed over time and I have changed personally. So the things that I used to want aren't the things that I want anymore, if that makes any sense. So let's just get Get right on into it. If I look down at all, that's because I have notes. Of course. Okay, so as with probably most people that are in the best shape of their life, I want to get to my goal weight this year. So you guys know that since about June, I've lost about 20 pounds and I've been able to keep it off. So my goal is to lose about 20 to 30 more pounds to get to my goal weight. So I am gonna do like a whole weight loss series. I'm gonna do one video every single month to kind of capture what I'm doing and see if I can help any of you on your journey. But that is my very first goal. I've wanted to make my goal weight for many, many years, ever since I had my son. And I just haven't been as motivated and as willing to give up and to receive as much as I have recently. So my goal is to meet my goal weight by my birthday, which is July 1st. So that gives me a full seven months, six months. I don't know. Why can I not think? July is the seventh month. So the first of July. So a full six months to get my goal weight. I know I can do it this year and then I'll be in super good shape and looking hot and stuff for the beach in the summertime. So that is my first goal and I have little mini goals to go along with that that I will go over with you guys in my weight loss series. So make sure to stay tuned for that one. Second goal of the year is to read 12 books. So when I say read, I mean either physically open a book and read it on my phone, like read, you know, the digital ones or on my Kindle, either one, or to listen to an audiobook. So any of those kind of book versions, I will count as reading a book. So right now, I'm listening to The New Frugality. It's a book by Chris something. I'll post it down below here and I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in reading it. But it's really, really interesting about like a frugal lifestyle and how frugal people aren't cheap. They're just look at things in a different way. It's really interesting. I'm loving it so far. So I will keep reading that or listening to that and I will let you guys know how it goes. But yes, that's one of my goals. I haven't been reading as much as I'd like to and I used to read every single night and I just haven't done that anymore so I want to get back into reading and educating myself and just staying up with things that I'm interested in so I have quite a few books on my list that I want to read or listen to and I hope to do that this year and get at least 12 books so I say at least 12 so one a month at least we'll see how it goes and I'm keeping myself accountable for this one because I feel like it's really important to continue to educate and to continue to learn. And I know I have a lot of learning to do. So that's my second goal. My third, this is not three, my third goal is to pay off two large pieces of debt. So we have about six large pieces of debt. I will go more into that in my budgeting series that I'm going to do. I'm going to also do a budgeting series. I'm so excited. Anyways. Um, I want to pay off two of those large pieces of debt this year by the end of 2018. So stay tuned for my budgeting series for more on that as well. 
And then my goal number four for my resolution number four is to eat more of a whole foods plant-based diet and that for me basically means less processed foods. So I already eat a more vegan diet. I'm not perfect by any means. I don't do dairy at all. Um, I barely do cheese only when I'm like surprised that it's in something but I don't really do cheese either but I want to eat less of a processed diet I want to eat more of a whole foods plant-based diet so I've been doing a lot of stir fries lately and the boys will have chicken in their stir fry and I'll just have a veggie stir fry so oh, I love stir fries they're so good anyways I had one for breakfast this morning because it was so good okay but that's kind of in my goals of being healthy so a more whole foods, plant-based diet, less processed foods. My fifth goal is to continue decluttering and minimizing my life. So I have a list of a few more places in my house that I want to minimize and condense and declutter and give myself more space. So I realized this past year when I would come home from work and the house would just be, our house is never like, dirty it's just messy there's just stuff and places where they could be in their homes you know and coming home to that I would just immediately get in like a frustrated just like angry mood and then I would come home and my husband would be home all day and he'd clean up the whole house make it look all nice have all the dishes done and I'd come home to a clean organized environment and it just brightens and lifts my mood and Within my decluttering from last year in 2017 of doing my like KonMari clothing declutter and doing uh, like some of my makeup decluttering and some of my other types of decluttering, I've realized how much I don't need that I have. I have so many items that I just, there's no reason to have all of these items that I never touch, I never use, I don't even know it's there until I go to clean it out and declutter it. So my real real goal is with that is just to get rid of stuff that I don't need donate it clear it out like yesterday yesterday I was looking in my son's room and it's all organized and clean I got him a shelf for Christmas so he's all organized and then I looked in his closet and his closet was literally stacked to the ceiling with stuff and when I opened the door there was just stuff like falling out and I was like no I'm not playing that game this year. So I took everything out of his closet and there's literally just a few pieces of clothing hanging and a few stuffed animals that he loves in his closet and his scooter that we got him for Christmas and that's it. Like his closet is completely cleaned out and so much of it was clothes that were too small or too big so I put those in the correct spots. It was items that needed to go in the recycle bin, items that needed to go in the garbage, and tons of items that I am donating that's in my car right now to go to the donation. Why don't I do that everywhere? Why can't everywhere be clean and organized and fresh? And it can be. So, sorry, that was like a huge tangent, but I did get a couple of you saying that you'd like to learn more about like eco-friendly living and living with less and learning how to start minimizing and start decluttering in your life and I plan to do a series with that as well. Like I said, there's a lot of new things coming to my channel. I'm really excited. But that is one area of my life that I've really enjoyed doing and I feel so much better personally, internally and externally. And it like gets my stress away you know like when I clean an area and then I look back at it and it's all clean when I'm done I'm like wow I feel so good <laughs> sorry that was a really long tangent but that's number five <laughs> number six is to take a relaxing bath one time a week or one time every other week so two times a month minimum and this <laughs> might be a weird goal for some of you guys but I am typically the person that's always in a rush. So I'm in a rush to take a shower. I'm in a rush to get ready for bed. I'm in a rush to get things done. I'm in a rush to grade papers. I'm in a rush to do everything. And I feel like with doing this, it's gonna slow me down. It's gonna bring me back to calm and sitting there and just thinking and just, I don't know, getting my mind back in focus. And I took a bath last week 
and it was so nice. I didn't have any music on, I didn't have anything playing. I might listen to an audiobook in my next bath, but it was really nice just sitting there in the quiet. Like, <laughs> quiet, nothing bothering me, just my own mind, and just relaxing and breathing and it was so nice it was almost like a meditation truly for me so i plan to do that at least twice a week or <laughs> at least twice a month taking a nice relaxing bath but i'm gonna try to do it like four times a month okay i actually skipped one that was number seven so i guess i'll just switch these so the new number seven is going to be meditate and stretch daily so i already pretty much stretch once a day for sure like every night before i go to bed i like to stretch and usually in the mornings i'm good about stretching but my plan is to stretch in the morning right when i get up stretch and just relax my mind if that help if that makes any sense and then i plan to stretch before bed like normal so i feel like when i stretch my body out i feel so much more relaxed internally and externally and i don't feel so tight like right now i worked out yesterday i did a spinning class and my body feels so tight and i realized that i didn't even stretch this morning and this is part of my resolutions anyways i'm gonna stretch after this video now but I'm gonna do that every single day, hopefully. <laughs> Try my best. And then I wanna learn to meditate. So I feel like that kind of goes along with it because I don't feel like I'm a person that can go um and meditate like that, but I do feel like I can sit down, cross my legs, just breathe and relax for a couple minutes and just meditate in my own personal way. And I feel like that'll help my stress a lot more. I have had a lot of stress and anxiety lately, especially in this past year. And I hope to relieve some of that with some of these more personal type of things that I can do. Number eight for me is to exercise for 30 minutes, five days a week. So I don't typically do a lot of <laughs> exercising on a regular basis anymore. So. I know I am losing weight, but I've been losing weight just by other means than just exercising. And like I said, I went to the gym yesterday and it felt so good to do a 45 minute really hard spinning class. And my body's sore today because of it. So I want to continue that on and whether it be um, like ab workouts or just lunges or just running up and down the stairs or whatever it is I want to be focused on exercising for 30 minutes 30 minutes is a very small percentage of the day and I feel like I can add this into my routine so whether it's going to bed 30 minutes early and waking up 30 minutes early to do it in the morning or doing it right before I go to bed or doing it you know before I pick my son up from school I don't care what it is but I need to get it in and I feel like I will feel better about myself and I'll be exercising so I'll be working towards my other goals that I have as well. Also it's a stress relief just to get those endorphins flowing and get those good feeling vibes going. I always feel good after a workout so I plan to exercise 30 minutes a day for five days a week and I don't feel like that's too much. And my other days I just plan to really make sure I get a good stretch in and maybe do like a yoga session or something. Okay goal number nine is to budget stick to it and plan ahead. So we've had a budget in line for a really long time, but I want to tighten that budget. So instead of giving myself $800 for groceries a month, I know that might seem a lot to a lot of you guys, but we do breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks all from home. We don't go out or anything like that. So every meal is prepared at home from me, basically, and snacks and stuff like that. So we do a lot of food at home anyways but i want to budget our whole life and i want to keep that budget down to the most minimum we possibly can to pay off some of this other debt to go along with my other new year's resolutions see how i'm doing that okay so i also want to be better at planning ahead so i have been planning out my meals um, and like my dinners and stuff like that for the week, but I want to be more strict on planning ahead. So I want to not just only plan ahead my food choices, but I want to plan ahead my purchases. Like I need new tires for my car. My tires are getting really, really bad. And one of them actually has a plug in it from when I had it repaired from when it had a, a nail in it. So 
I get nervous driving on tires that are very, very slippery, especially in the winter months here. And I plan to buy some tires, so I know that that's going to be an expense that's coming up soon. We have some other expenses like our car insurance, our house bills. We have expenses that come up every single month that I want to be better planned ahead for them. So I want to put money aside so that we can really plan ahead for our future. And our future including vacations and fun things and being able to move one day. So I feel like the more I plan ahead in the little things in life, the easier the bigger things in life are gonna be. But if you guys wanna hear more about like my budgeting and my paying off bills and planning ahead and stuff, check out my budgeting series that I'm gonna have starting up soon here. Number 10 is gonna be to spend more time outside. So not in the winter time as much. <laughs> it's so flipping cold. It's like eight degrees outside right now. The sun's out and it looks beautiful, but it's way too cold. Like I get sick just looking at the outside. But in the summertime, I want to spend a lot more time outside. I have a bike and my son has his bike and his scooter and we have a park that's right down the street. I have two dogs that need to go for walks. I just want to be outside in general more. I feel better when I'm outside. I like getting the fresh air. I just enjoy the weather and just the wind and just the sounds as my phone vibrates. <laughs> and I enjoy the sounds of being outside and all the animals. I love taking early morning walks and looking at all the bunnies. There's so many bunnies in my neighborhood and they are so flipping cute. I just want to pet one, but they don't like me. They're afraid of me, but they shouldn't be because I'm friendly. Anyways. <laughs> I just want to spend more time outside, whether it's alone or with the dogs or with my son or just with my family. I just want to be outside more. And I feel like I was doing better at that last year, but then there'd be days where it'd be so hot and I'd be like, no, I don't want to go outside. But instead of doing that, maybe I'll wash my car that day and get myself all wet so that I'm not super hot, you know? So I want to plan to be outside more often this summer. Number 11 is just kind of a goal that I've had for a while now, but I wanna continue with it, and it's to keep a positive attitude at all times. So that's including when I'm at work and I'm not in a good mood, and I just want to continue to keep a positive attitude and say, you know what, I'm here, I'm gonna work my eight hours or 10 hours or 12 hours or however many hours I'm working today, I'm gonna to work my time and just do my thing and try to enjoy my day because I have to be here anyways. So you might as well be in a good mood while you're at work because I do YouTube for fun. YouTube's not a job for me. YouTube is my escape. And I have a real job, like a full-time job that I go to every single day. And well, maybe not every day, but I wanna enjoy my job more and enjoy people and enjoy conversation more and and that's outside of work too. I want to be able to, you know, talk to a stranger and enjoy the conversation that I'm having. So being more positive is something I've been working on for a while and I just want to continue with that journey. And then one of my goals, number 12, is actually a YouTube goal. <laughs> so I know this might be silly, but I haven't been like the most consistent on my channel. I know when I first started, I uploaded quite a few videos and then I kind of took a break and then I uploaded a lot and then I took a break and then I uploaded a lot. So I want to be more consistent with my uploading schedule. So I plan to upload three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right now I'm just uploading all of my videos because I have tons of videos that I should have uploaded at the end of the year. But like I said, holidays kind of got away from me. So. I'm just finishing out all of my like ending videos now, but I plan to do like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploading schedule. And then if I do a vlog, like if I, I'm not gonna be consistent with my vlogs, but if I decide to film a vlog, then I plan to upload that on a Saturday. So like Saturday will be like my vlog uploading day. Cause I know a lot of people don't watch videos on the weekends as much as they do during the week. I'm not really sure why, cause I feel like people have more time on the weekends. But people are doing other things on the weekends. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. I'm just, I'm just here to have fun. And um, so I plan on doing bonus like vlog videos every once in a while on Saturdays. And then if I have like an extra video that I really want to talk about or 
you know, something like that, then I am going to do like a bonus video on Sundays. And then randomly, if I just feel like doing a full week of videos, I want to do a full week of videos. But in general, I want to stick to a Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploading schedule. So that way you guys can have something consistent to look forward to. And that way you know, oh, well, Callie didn't film, Callie didn't post a video on Wednesday. Maybe my notifications aren't working. Oh, look, she did, you know, post a video or whatever. You know, I guess it doesn't really matter that much, but... I want to be more consistent with it because I do really enjoy it and I just I really enjoy the community that this brings and being able to talk to you guys and just enjoying this community and the people you know I've met a lot of really cool people I've done a couple collabs with people that I've just I found to be like friends you know like I feel like I can just text them and say hey what's up and it's just enjoyable to do for me personally so those were all the New Year's resolutions that I had. I'm sure I'm going to have more by the end of the week. But yeah, those were all of the resolutions that I had for me personally right now. And I'm sure, like I said, things might change. Things might go away. Things might get added to. But as of right now, those are all the things. I only had 12. I know a lot of people are doing like 18 New Year's resolutions in 2018. I'm not sticking to numbers like that. I'm just kind of doing my thing and I'm really enjoying just being myself and not having rules because <laughs> I feel like there's so many rules of YouTube and like so many catchy phrases and titles you got to do and I just don't want to be like that. I just want to be me and you guys can love me or hate me for me and you know leave me comments that are you know rude or just leave me the loving comments that you guys have been and I'm just enjoying being me and doing my thing and this is my escape I have a husband and a son I'm always around boys I've always had boys around and I feel like this is the one place where I get to be girly and be me and just enjoy talking about topics that are interesting to me and things that are going on in my life personally so I'm sorry this was like a long ranty video, but I really appreciate all of you guys, all of my subscribers that have been here from the beginning, my friends at work that really support me and love me and care about me, and my family that supports me as well, and all of you guys that are new here, that have come to my channel from other channels or just found me on a whim, and <laughs> some people one girl even said, I'll have to find her username, but one girl even said, I found your channel just randomly and then I just started binge watching all of your videos. And that just made me laugh because that's totally how I find new YouTubers that I like watching. So I'll find like one video that I'm just like, oh, you know, I like this. And then I go and watch their entire channel, like for years. Not like watch it for years, but like I'll watch all of their videos for like the many years that they've been on YouTube. So. I just really appreciate all of you guys and I just wanted to say that I feel like 2018 is going to be a really, really good year for me personally and I really hope that it's a great year for you guys as well. Maybe, maybe it will be different for different people. So maybe it's the year that your health is going to get in order. Maybe it's the year that you're going to get the job or the promotion that you really wanted to get. Maybe it's going to be the year of... Um, looking at your inner self and finding importance and loving and caring about yourself the way you feel like you should. Maybe it's the year that you create a family that you never thought you could. I don't know. I just hope that it's the greatest year for you guys. I know 2017 was a rough year for me, but it was still good. You know, I still try to look back and say, you know, there was a lot of good things that happened in the year as well. So, sorry about my ranty video, but I just... I really appreciate you guys and everything and I really appreciate the fact that YouTube gives me a platform to speak on that I can just be myself and <laughs> do my own thing and be me and enjoy being me. I'm gonna kiss. It's time. Do not blow my belly if that's what you're gonna do. But where do you at? I'm I'm done, I'm just saying bye. Bye! So thanks again for all you guys' love and support and I hope that 
you guys can achieve all of your New Year's resolutions and I will keep you updated on mine. Maybe I'll do like an every other month like update on my New Year's resolutions to see how I've been doing. And that way I can kind of hold myself accountable for my New Year's resolutions and my wants in my life. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you